I had some very specific uh, goals throughout my life that, you know, I wanted to change the world and um, do some good and making money to, you know, provide for my family and get them through school and things like that was always, you know, a driver as well. But um, the most important things were uh, focused on causes and uh, doing good and helping others and serving other people. So um, I have had experience with nonprofits in the past and certainly am now with uh, several nonprofits and I still do a lot of service outside of my doTERRA world, but it all relates to doTERRA, comes back and helps doTERRA as well. But I serve in many different capacities in the community and in the state. And so, yeah, I would be involved in a nonprofit somehow. When we were starting doTERRA and opening our doors, it was a process, more than a single day event, but I remember going through the whole process thinking, okay, I need to remember what is happening right now. Um, that's why I was, I had a camera with me. This was before, you know, phones that had cameras. So I, I brought a camera with me and I took pictures and some of the pictures that we have from the earliest times are because I wanted to document it because every day I woke up going, this is awesome. I'm all in. I've put everything on the line, but I'm working with amazing people. And every day something would happen that would convey to me that I was on the right path. And they were little things. Um, but, but every day we'd wake up having mortgaged everything, having, you know, quit all other things and focusing 100% on this, um, we would wake up and we would say, okay, how are we going to make this work? And fortunately, we all had, you know, years of experience in this uh, business, so we knew what needed to be done. And we all had such a diversity of experience uh, as well. Dave brought tremendous leadership and, and uh, an IT background. Uh, that was key. Uh, Emily brought sourcing and uh, leadership uh, skills um, to the table. Dr. Hill brought this tremendous education background, and, and I was just kind of do whatever else needed to be done because international was going to take a little while. So, uh, you know, I would, I would write every day. I'd work on some of the, the key elements of our business, such as the compensation plan or the loyalty reward programs, um, all the while making sure that our bills were being paid, <laughs> which was a challenge that so we would issue cash calls to the partners and those who had, had committed funds, you know, we would, we would need those from time to time. And so I was doing a lot of accounting and bookkeeping, but also very early on uh, laying the foundation for our international uh, expansions. My favorite doTERRA product is always the one that I need the most that day. Um, I would say the, the, the essential oils that have been the most meaningful to me overall on a consistent basis is probably frankincense. Um, I use that one every day, topically, internally, uh, aromatically. Uh, it's a it's a great oil. Um, I don't know what it is about it. I get tremendous, you know, emotional support from it, but it also gives me some physical benefits as well. But I use I use lavender every day, tea tree every day, and on guard every day. Those are the the ones and. And more and more, I'm using Digest Zen. <laughs> so in the middle of the night, Digest Zen is my favorite oil. So, yeah. The biggest lesson I have learned from being a part of doTERRA is, is really centered around human progression. Um, I believe that doTERRA is the sum total of the good people that are involved in doTERRA. So certainly uh, the founding executive team 
uh, it all started with that. And I believe that the talents and the and how unique is it in the world today to have seven people who have been partners and remain partners, uh, you know, in creating a two billion dollar company for 15 years just doesn't happen. And it's very unique, very special. I think it speaks to humility, it speaks to talent, it speaks to passion and contribution, um, and um, unselfishness, uh, you know, uh, working with, with that. So I believe that one of the, the greatest thing that, that, that I've experienced with doTERRA is just the human progression. Each of us continuing to become better, uh, through solving difficult uh, problems and overcoming tremendous challenge um, and and just recognizing that anything can be done uh, if we are united uh, in, uh, in our goals. So I love uh, new market development. I just, that that's that's more of a hobby now than it is a you know a work and a job but um, I have many responsibilities now uh, at, at doTERRA but probably my favorite part is going into a brand new market development work is a very unique and a special uh, it, it's very entrepreneurial it's very creative it's very adaptable uh, you have to be smart, you have to have smart people around you, you have to work with the best in the world uh, to open up, you know, these markets and we work with the best people in the local market. So it's a very, very fun, uh, exciting project every time we open a new market. But I, I love the challenge. Uh, it keeps me it, it keeps me excited and engaged and I think it's just it's just been so so fun and now we do business in so many countries around the world and uh, it, there's a tremendous amount of satisfaction you know associated with it so yeah that's that's what I would say I'm excited because of the recent management changes that we've had I think it's always a good thing when you have new people that that you have confidence in and trust um, to bring their perspective and new ideas and, and fresh ideas um, to doTERRA. I think, uh, you know, with the recent management changes in CEO and president uh, with Corey and Emily, I'm excited to see what uh, can happen this, this next year as they sort of lead out on some, some new uh, yet proven strategies for doTERRA.